Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be going over 23 different ways that you can spot a fake Michael Jordan Fleer rookie card. Now, as someone who's been in the hobby for a long time, I know that there's a ton of Michael Jordan fakes. It seems like everyone finds one in a shoe box. So this card keeps getting printed out by someone or multiple parties and trying to get conned off the people. They're buyers at card shows or even dealers. So don't get burned. Um, you're gonna hear a story soon by Steven. He also helps run this channel. And he actually almost bought a fake Jordan PSA 9. So you can go over that in a little bit. But guys, the Jordan fake, make sure you don't get scammed from it. And this is just another video in my series of spotting fakes where every single week I'm going to be showing you guys how to identify a fake card from different sports. So last week I did the 2011 Mike Trout card, a new card in the hobby that everyone's been faking. This week's going to be the Michael Jordan. And next week, well, you guys are going to decide in the comment section down below. So you'll have to watch a little bit part of the video. So anyways, you're going to about to hear Steven's story. I'll let him talk right now. Here is the story for you guys. So I was just chilling one day and then some dude goes ahead and checks my phone. He said, Steven, you got to answer me right now. You got to answer my phone call. You got to see this. And I'm like, Hey, what's up? And he talks to me and he's like, well, I was at a garage sale and I found this amazing card. You got to check it out. I found a Jordan rookie PSA nine. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. You know, everybody knows the value of this card. It's probably not going to be at a garage sale or anything else. And then he goes and shows me and it's a slab PSA nine. And I'm like, wow, this is an amazing card. However, upon looking at it a little bit closer, I saw some things that I wasn't really familiar with and some things that are a little bit shady. And I was really questioning the integrity of this slab. Right after I stopped talking to the seller, I made sure to go ahead and talk to Ryan and I wanted to show him it too. And it also looked very shady to him. And now I'm gonna pass it over to Ryan right now to explain what a PSA fake Jordan slab looks like and what to look for even when you see a Jordan that's raw. Hey guys, so you saw how Steven almost got burned on a fake PSA 9 Michael Jordan. And you might be wondering, why would someone go all the way to make a fake slab? Well, I'm using this tool right here called Market Movers and really, really good data on cards, how they've been doing historically, where they're at, recent sales and everything. This tool, absolutely amazing. But you can see the Michael Jordan PSA 9 was originally around a $50,000 card earlier this year, spiked all the way up to almost 90,000 and is now down to about 24,000. A huge loss if you bought this up here. Now, this tool right here will show you this graph for pretty much any card out there. All you have to do is go search your player, set, variations if you have one, and then grades. And you can change the time frame as well. And then over here on the side, you can exclude specific sellers. So as people like ProbeScene or PWCC or ComC uh, that get way over comp. So you can see the true value of a card. Um, and I have a 20% off discount code if anyone wants to get this tool, Market Movers, which is really, really powerful. Uh, this is so much better than using a price guide like a book like Beckett in the past. I used to use the Beckett books for quite a while. I mean, I went to card shows when I was a kid and um, this was before eBay comps and everything like that. And this is game changer because now you can see prices historically, you can see trend lines and you can find out real data right now. So if you use code breakout, you get 20% off market movers. This is a great way to figure out if it's the time to sell specific cards, if you should be buying specific cards or holding on to them. And there's a ton of data here, full tutorial eventually, but guys, this tool is awesome. So as you saw, Jordan is a super expensive card. People are faking it. So right here, I have an example of a real Jordan. This is graded a PS or a SGC nine. And the thing about this is I use this because you can see the close-ups of the card. It's not a pristine 10 as well. And yeah, it's really, really good way. And today I'm going to be showing you guys 23 different ways you can spot the Jordan fake. So using the real one is the best way because there's so many variations of fakes out there. And if you could just standardize looking at a real one, you can start to tell um, what's on a real card and what's on a fake card. Now, I don't recommend buying this card raw. I say that because there's so many fakes on the market. You miss one thing and you could be out thousands of dollars. If you're trying to buy a card raw off someone, have them grade it first and uh, pay them based off of that or figure out a way that you don't pay until the card is graded. I don't know, like, just don't buy this card raw. It's way, way too risky unless you follow the checklist. And even if you do follow the checklist, there's always people printing out new versions of this card that are fake. So I highly do not recommend 
that you buy this card raw. Just buy it graded. But these are the signs to take a look at. And also when you buy a card graded, you still want to double check that the card's real. There are fake grading companies. There are people that replace the card in the top in the graded case. I'm going to go over that a little bit at the very end. Um, but here's the 23 different ways. So the first thing I take like taking a look at is the back of the card. I know a lot of people are going to talk about this up here, um, but I'm going to cover that a little bit later. And the reason why I like looking at the back is because the people who can't who print this card mess up with the NBA Players Association logo. So there's a few things that you need to look at. First is the players right there. Often people that fake this can't print this out since it's so small and the details are missing. So make sure this is very clean and sharp. The next thing you want to make sure is that there's lines inside the basketball. Early versions of this fake did not include these lines. And lines, you can tell right away if it was properly printed or not. Um, on the front, if you take a look through a loop, look up really close. Lines and a lot of other details should all be solid. You should not be seeing a dot printed. Uh, these were used from a high quality printer. They weren't used like with a lot of the modern printing where it is the dot technique. So if you load up a real one under a loop, you'll see the difference right away. Make sure the lines are solid and everything along with that. Uh, the next thing is to take a look at the card in general, the, the colors and how dark it is. So you can see this card is really, really light in general. Fakes tend to be very, very dark. And the same thing right here, this blue, fakes have a darker shade of blue. So just take a look at the image quality, compare it to a real one. Make sure that this is light and these two match up because fakes have this as a darker shade. Next is to take a look at the bleeding over here. So I'm going to do a close up real quick. You can see how these don't bleed. It goes really quick, red, blue, white. Fakes often have a bit of bleeding right here and it's so easy to tell right away that a card is fake. Now, one way a lot of people have been spotting the fakes, you see it online, is the eyes of the bull. So make sure that there is the whites of the eyes. If they cut off earlier, you can't see any white in the eye. The card is fake. It's using a low quality printer. Same can be said also with the A and B up here. So I'm going to load this up a little bit better. So some fakes early on, this A, there was no hole right there. And then the B at the top was filled. So... Make sure that there is space in those because if there's not, it wasn't an error, it's a fake card. Same can be said also with this percentage sign right here next to FG. So I'll load this up a little closer. So you can see, again, there's very, very small holes. The fakes have those filled out. So easy ways to check with that. Now let's take a look at the arrow on the front. So this is what a lot of people will take a look at first on the card. And it's a really good way because there's... a multiple ways you can tell it's fake so first thing you want to make sure on this card is that the arrow is a different color so you can see it is different than this right here now there are people that do different colors but they'll either make it way too bright or way too dark you can just see how it's very subtle but it is darker so that's one of the quick ways to do that next thing you want to make sure is that the arrow is actually lower than this premiere so you can see right here how I'm going to use a screenshot tool real quick. So you can see how it's slightly above the Premiere. So the arrow is below Premiere. You can see that right there zooming in. So make sure this arrow is below Premiere and you should be good with that. Uh, next thing you want to make sure is that this font is sharp. So some of the fakes have a thicker font and the corners are kind of circular. You can see how they, it's straight to the point and right over and then Things like the R are round, but everything else is very, very sharp to the point. Uh, fakes have a thicker font right here, and they just aren't as sharp in general. Next thing you want to make sure is that the F and P and Fleer and Premiere are aligned. So you can see how these are almost perfectly aligned. A lot of other ones are indented, and they are not aligned. So you can see that right there. really really close right there so make sure they are aligned if it's indented at all fake so you see that right there next thing on the front let me go back over here make sure there isn't a black line i've seen some fakes recently that have a black line separating this blue and red and you can see it just goes straight over here the fakes have a black line right here Easy way to tell with that. 
on the back. Make sure this 27.2 has a dot. Again, early fakes, it did not have that. Same with like the whites of the eyes. This is one of the common ways people know, but there are fakes out there that do have this dot. So make sure this dot is right here. Easy way to tell. On the back over here with the color, you can see how this is uh, not a peach type color. Well, let me go back over here to a full image. You can see how it is not bright peach. Um, so a lot of the fakes right now have that peach color and you can see that a real is not with that. You can also see with this black or this border over here on the back that it's thick. Some of the new fakes over here as well have a thin border around. Uh, you can see this border is nice and thick. Another thing too is the coloring on the back. This is off white. This isn't perfectly white. You can see this is perfectly white over here and this is off white. So if you see a completely off or completely white back, really, really easy way to tell that it is fake. Next thing to take a look at is height and weight. So you make sure that there are colons right here. You see height and then you can see weight. So making sure that these colons are here. The fakes do not have these colons. Again, there are fakes that do have these colons, but early fakes did not have those. On the front, make sure that this shadow is here. Some people call it the ghost. New fakes do have this, but a lot of the older fakes do not have this on the card. And lastly, let's take a look at the Michael Jordan text down at the bottom. So some of the fakes have a different font than this, so make sure the fonts align. And then they are also pixelated. So as I was saying earlier, making sure to use your loop and take out different parts of the card. Make sure that this is not pixelated because a lot of the fakes are. So uh, just a quick recap with that. Um, one last thing actually too, I completely forgot, I skipped over it. Make sure like the R's and the C's over here are defined. So I'll load up a picture real quick so you can see. See how this R is very defined, small circle, small R. Go over here to the C, defined as well, and that R. A lot of the fakes can't print out high quality C's or R's, so they'll either be incomplete or they'll be completely thick. So taking a look at that is pretty easy way to figure that out too. Uh, a lot of fakes can do that. So that's another thing I'd look at right away. So just a quick recap for you guys. Let's go through this one last time. You can take a look at the logo, a few different things right there really fast. Make sure the colors are on point with this card. Make sure that this isn't too dark between there and there. No bleeding with that. On the back, you can look at the eyes. There's a few different stats over here that you can take a look at, like the FG. You can also look over the height and the weight, making sure that these R's and C's are good. And then the NBA logo at the bottom for the Players Association. I always look at that first because low quality printers can't get those details. So guys, I hope that was helpful. That is 23 different ways you can spot a Michael Jordan rookie card. All right, guys, to show you Steven's fake Jordan, Here's the PSA slab. So this is bonus material, but how I can tell this is fake with older slabs, there's two dots usually right over here and here. Um, the fakes do not replicate these dots. And that's the easy way to tell if a card has been tampered with as well. Um, if those dots fully glow out that, you know, the seal has been opened up. Um, that's a method called icing a card. So someone will ice this case and uh, seal it back up after replacing the card. So there are cases where it's a real case, but there's a fake card inside of it because someone has tampered with the PSA case and those dots will pretty much flare up and you'll see them right away. But besides having those dots, you can just tell up here alone um, that the font is off on these. Uh, usually it's a lot different for older slabs and you can take a look at examples online. I just, again, with all fake cards, just compare it to real. If anything is off, don't buy it. Just walk away. There is always eBay. There's always another card show. Don't get scammed because you have to get this card. There's a ton of these out there. Um, another way I tell this card is fake is actually if you put in the serial number on PSA's website. So PSA serial number lookup. And you can type in this number. So this is 0906, 0906, 1897. So 1897. And you can see one just showing up, right? Certification number, 
Clear basketball, 57, Michael Jordan, mint nine. Looks good, right? Mint nine, 57, everything like that. This sold for $37,000 on PWCC Vault. Interesting. Let's take a look at the number. Oh. Those two dots, which I was talking about, different font. Now let's take a look at this one. No dots. You can see the different font. The PSA is different as well, right? Thicker, close together. Look at this number 57 compared to this number 57. Even the hashtag pound sign is completely off. The color, right? This is perfectly white. This is like an off white right here. And even the card itself. So you can see the real card, fake card. Notice the difference. So guys, don't get scammed. Look up the number, make sure it's been an auction, pull up an image of it. Look up any other PSA cases, everything along the lines with that. Now, one other thing with fake cases, don't go with a third party grading company that you do not know. Use someone like SGC, CSG, Beckett, or PSA. They've been in the game for a very, very long time and they'll be able to tell if a card is real or not. Now there was a grading company in the past that also used to be reputable. It was called GAI. Um, they did go downhill, but if you look for their first generation slabs, uh, they should be good. Now, if anyone knows for sure, please let me know in the comment section down below because GAI was before I really knew much about grading. But from what I've heard, uh, the first generation GAI is good. After that, they started letting in cards that were altered. Uh, some fakes and everything like that. So look for GAI generation one. Don't go after anything else with that. So, um, and also with the fake third party stuff, there's a lot of people that will also put uh, the Jordan rookie in screw downs that you can't actually take out. They do that at card shows. Um, always analyze the card. If it's in a screw down, I'm not going to say it's always fake because it's not true, but uh, the chances of a card being fake in a screw down is higher just because uh, most dealers won't have a screwdriver on them. And there's people that make uh, screw downs that are really, really hard to open up. So I used, you might have saw that from my Jacksonville video when I was talking about the 1954 uh, Jackie Robinson that I spotted. So guys, just be careful with buying this card. It is so much money. Uh, make sure everything lines up before dropping tens of thousands of dollars on it if it's graded or if it's raw, a couple thousand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. So one last thing, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, Make sure to leave a like and then subscribe down below. It takes a lot of time researching these, looking at examples of fakes and reels to figure out the differences between the two cards. So make sure you leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also down below, I'm making a poll. Do you want me to cover a Gretzky rookie from 1979 or do you want me to cover a 1933 Babe Ruth? Comment down below. Whoever ends up winning, that is going to be the video for next week. If you're new to the series, I did Mike Trout. Uh, week one, week two is Michael Jordan, and then week three is a fan vote. So you let me know if you want Gretzky or if you want the Ruth. Both are so many, there's so many counterfeits of both out there on the market. Also, I'm working on the book for spotting fakes. So it is not out yet. I hope to have it out during the middle of summer. If you're watching this in a year or two in advance, I'd hope the book's out. Check down in the comment section down below in the description. Purchase your copy of Spotting Fakes. Don't get burned on cards.